you grew up in a basketball family. Your brothers play basketball. Your dad was coaching as well. Are they going to come out and, and watch you play? How often do you get to see them? We haven't talked much about it. Uh, maybe this year they won't, or maybe they go to Miami. I, you know, now I have kids and home is kind of messy. Uh, but they came the, the last two times and they really loved it. Uh, they are all you know, big fans. They understand the game. They played it. And if they don't come, they, they are really going to watch it live and they're going to be you know, going crazy from the distance. For you, how much fun was it growing up in a household where everyone's playing basketball and there's always games and practices and, and ways for you to get better? I mean, for me, it was uh, natural. Uh, for us, it was school and basketball. There was no other option. We all took it so naturally and, and we all loved it so much that it was a matter of going to school in the morning, in the afternoon, go to the basketball court and just play, shoot, uh, and, and be there and dribble. When we couldn't have, when we didn't have an open basket, we were just dribbling around. Uh, I didn't get to play against them because you know, there's a you know, five and seven year difference. It was a lot back then. But you know, I was with my friends. They were with theirs, and all weekend was about watching games and, and being around. And now you've got twin three-year-old boys. Are they already practicing their Euro step in the kitchen? Uh, no, not really. They they do have a basket and a few basketballs, but. They shoot once and then now they are into animals, painting and Legos and stuff like that. They don't really care. And they, they don't like watching me either. They come to the games and they just play around. They stay in the family room. They, they are just in their thing. They're too little. When you get mad at them, is it ever like, listen, I'm a future Hall of Famer. You're going to respect <laughs> me. And... Not at all. I'll never bring that up. And I'll never even going to tell them to play basketball. I just want them to, to choose their path. If it's soccer that they, they want to play, go ahead. If they just want to be biologists, they will be thrilled. And whatever they choose is going to be fine with me. Tony's over there getting interviewed and, and Tim was over here a, a bit ago. How special to you is this trio and all the success you guys have had and the memories you've created? Getting very special. Uh, I, I think it's not a trio, it's a, a fourth way thing with Bob. Because I mean, without Bob it could have been completely different. We may have not stick together that long. So having the opportunity to, to have a, a core group like this for 11 years is very special. Uh, we played together 150 games in the playoffs. Uh, we won a lot of them, three rings. Uh, it's starting to get even more special than I, uh, than I thought possible. And I know that now I appreciate it. Of course, I love those guys. But with time, like in 10, 15 years, it's going to even get more special. Um, so, you know, I, I know I'm very lucky, very, very lucky to, to be here and, and share this experience with them. Pop, can you describe your range of emotions between those last two threes from Manu? <laughs> That's great. You're a very observant man. <laughs> uh, I went from uh, trading him on the spot <laughs> to wanting to cook him breakfast tomorrow. You mentioned Pop. Did he ever cook you breakfast after that, that, no, that buzzer beater? He didn't. Now I'm starting to think it was, you know, being sarcastic. I was waiting for him, but no, he didn't. Um, it was just for the cameras, basically. Just for the camera, yeah. Just, he wants to show off. That gold medal you won back in 04 with Argentina, you'd already won an NBA championship at that point. But did it bring a different sense of pride? just being able to represent your country in that kind of way. Yeah, totally. Um, and again, the same I, I was saying before. At the moment, I mean, it was huge being there in the top of the podium. And But I was coming from winning the NBA championship in 03, then I won it again in 05. So 04, I mean, it was all part of the craziness that I was living back then. Now, it's, it's going to be 10 years soon. And I'm telling you, I'm really enjoying that, that more now than 10 years ago. It's, it's one of those things that with time you appreciate more and you start remembering little things and, being, and, and you realize how, how difficult it is, and especially for a country like Argentina with not a lot of history in basketball. And we accomplished a lot of things in these 10 years with, with the national team too. Last question, you mentioned 10, 15 years from now and, and thinking about the trio and pop as well. Um, any clue what you'll be doing? down the road? Are we going to find it in Argentina it's, it's, growing grapes or something? What I, do you really, <laughs> I really don't know what I'm going to do next year. So in 10-15 it's going to be very difficult. But um, I, I do imagine uh, keeping in touch 
with uh, the guys and the, the franchise uh, well, coming back uh, sometime. Uh, but it's you know it's, it's imp almost impossible to to know what what I'm going to do. It depends a lot on my kids too. My kids are going to be 18. Are they going to be studying in the states, in Argentina, in Italy, or where? So uh, yeah, time uh, life takes you to some different places unexpectedly so we'll see but you still feel like you got some basketball left in the tank I do have a little bit left sometimes you have up and downs and you feel a little frustrated when it, when injuries happen and stuff like that but when things start to, to feel better and you got your body ready I still love what I do uh, then you said no no I'm gonna keep going so you are a little more fragile than a few years ago but I, I still love what I do